My name is Ram May. When saying my name, please don't run the syllables together. It's you again. <laughs> As always, there's a reward for good behavior. Want some pastry? The plums used in this recipe are freshly macerated. I waited in line for ages. After catching the attention of Noose, I left my hometown and began my research on the origin of life in a secret corner of the universe. Please don't ask where. In the grand fabric of life, both parents are equal, and thus my name combines the surnames of each of my parents. You don't have to listen hard to hear the gossip coming from the Genius Society. Mad scientist. <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. Some may find her personality unbearable. I can understand the sentiment, but I simply don't care. Of course, Herta knows this too, so I accepted her invitation. Put a watermelon parfait in Herta's office and Steven is sure to show up. Remember, the pumpkin ones will never attract him. Those are for warding him off. Screwlem and I have very different understandings of life, but I don't think he realizes it. Fortunately, our communication is limited to matters related to the simulated universe. The feel of embroidery is similar to that of growing a culture in the laboratory. Fine control of the wrist, just the right angle, and total commitment. As one with a sensitive palate, I only need one small bite to judge the taste of a pastry. I favor seasonal ingredients such as fresh fruits, flowers, and herbs. Pristine slices of life preserved inside a pastry. These provide the best dopamine response food has to offer. I've never been able to really get into modern music, but I find opera enchanting. Time passes like a river whenever I listen to the strings and voices in an opera performance. The redundancy of words and the restrictions of verbal communication make for a lot of empty noise. It makes me sad. We may accelerate or postpone the arrival of death, but life will always wither. Though we will one day all be reduced to particles, we can still reach new heights. Humans overestimate the infallibility of logic, and in clinging to reason, can become slaves to their emotions. Science is born from fanaticism. It is a gift. If you come across a good research sample, please let me know. Until then.